We're in Homestead, Florida, south of Miami. We're headed way off the beaten path looking for Peacock Pass. Welcome to the Ugly Tour, Uncharted Waters. Hey, you must be Josh. Think you can lead me to some peacock bass? We can do that, bud. Excellent. I grew up fishing this canal since I was five or six years old. This is home. Okay, we're not gonna actually be fishing from the boat the whole time. We're actually gonna be like trekking. Yeah, the, all these canals have floodgates on them. Okay. So we can't take the boat past those floodgates. We're gonna pull up, hop out, walk through the woods, walk down the canal bank, you know, fish some parts of the canal you can't get a boat to. Okay, this is the floodgate. This is where we're gonna fish. This is the structure that does peacock bass like. Show me the action I wanna work with here. I work the, the plug a lot. Okay. You want that real erratic, wounded, nervous, trying to flee bait fish. Nice! Come here, buddy. First one of the day, Josh, nice. Watch him. Oh. There it is! Oh. Yes! Oh. We're gonna need a bigger boat! <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger boat! No! Just put him with napalm! Yes! Pretty little guy. Oops. Nice, peacock. Stay out of the water this time. Are you kidding me? Josh, you weren't kidding. This is the spot, huh? Out in the middle of nowhere, we got my fish right here, my peacock bass, his peacock bass over there. Right. Josh, you're the man. Tell us a little bit about these guys. Well, these are butterfly peacock bass. Um, they're native to South America. They were put here in the early 80s to control the other exotic species. And now we've got great sport fishing for them too. These canals, they're all man-made? Yes, they're all dug in the 40s and 50s for the most part. Um, they were dug to drain the land so they could farm, so they could build houses. We're in a new area now, why here? Well, what's going on here is because of all the rain we've had here lately, these culverts are flowing water out of the Everglades into the canal. Okay. So if you look, you can see that current's coming right at us. What you wanna try to do is flip it up towards the bank and then let it come back naturally with that current. Oh, did you see that swirl? Come on. No, he missed it again. There he is. That's what we're at. So this spot right here, huh? Yeah, that's characteristic of them? That's a false eye. Okay. When a predator goes to eat this fish when he's a baby, it'll hit him in the tail instead of his head, and he can get away from him. Why do you uh, prefer ugly stick? Well, for one, the sensitivity of them, you can feel that bite, especially with this live bait. Yeah. You know, you can feel that live bait swimming down there. You can feel the fish when he hits it. Like right now, you got one. There it is. <laughs> Perfect you can feel timing, that. huh? I sure did. <laughs> You're not kidding. Nice. There you go. There it Peacock. is. Peacock. Perfect timing. Yeah. With the ugly stick. <laughs> Peacock bass. Hold on a second here. I might be getting bit too. Tell me you're going to get bit at the same time. It's perfect timing. You got Are another you one. Nice. What a ride. Thanks to Josh Greer for showing us Southern Florida's wild side and some amazing peacock bass. See you next time on the Ugly Tour, Uncharted Waters. Am I okay kneeling down right here? Yeah. Is that all right? All right. If you see a head pop up, it's a good idea to move. Right.